The Deputy African Union Chairperson Kwesi Kote is pushing for the Justice Short Commission to hold a public hearing in the Ayawasu West Wogon Violence Probe. He argues this will be key for the successful resolution of the current disagreement about what exactly transpired during the by election. You recall on Thursday, Security Analyst Adam Bonner proposed a public hearing of the Commission. Now, speaking to join us at, an AU's, at the AU's headquarters in Ethiopia, Ambassador Kote expressed optimism the Commission will do a good job. We have a, a tradition of this democracy which we cherish and we don't want to lose it. In terms of resolving this matter, um, Ghana, we've set up a commission of inquiry to look into the disturbances. Um, you think that uh, it's a way to go and should be back? It is a good beginning. I know I'm a short. The others in the committee, I know uh, Patrick Achampon, who used to be IGP, yeah, yeah. and I don't know who else is there. Yeah, there's there's Professor Henry Tamensa Bosu. Henry Tamensa Bosu, a professor of law, my very good friend. I mean, I think that that committee is good, and they will be impartial and they will come out of it. No, no. We have been lucky that this happened. It has saved us notice. You, you think the, the committee would be able to unravel this and give yes, us far Yes, they, 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 I'm sure they will sit, not in camera, they will sit open. Mm. People will come and give evidence. And if you hear the evidence, and they will come up with the report, and they will be implemented. No, no, I, th I think that when I saw the committee, it gives me hope. So you think a public hearing will be the best? I think a public hearing will be the best. You see. It's important to air out your dirty linen sometimes. Mm. It cleans out everything. You know, that is why our democracy, young as it is, is that strong. Everything is done publicly. So you see it. And when the people start condemning it, you know it. You know, there's nothing like uh, transparency and openness. And to influence people's minds to serve as warning to all of us, to also serve as an education, that look, we have something that we cherish, and we don't want to lose it. And I think Ghanaians have come out clearly to indicate that, hey, be careful. Ambassador Kote has meanwhile called for a halt to the trend where political party members are recruited into security agencies. The, you see, what makes uh, a state a state is the monopoly of violence by the police and the military. That is the backbone of the state. When you have one um, central authority which has access to arms like the army and is organized centrally in a very organized manner the way our army is or the police is that is the backbone that gives the states its validity but, but currently we are actually seeing a trend where yes. they are recruiting yes. individuals into I, the state agencies I'm, I'm saying that so when that central uh, authority, military authority, is divided, then you have a civil war. So we should be careful that we maintain that central authority. And, you know, arms must be controlled and must be regulated. The army is organized and regulated in the hierarchy. They have discipline. Vigilante groups do not have that discipline. And so the if, if we mm -hmm. dilute our state power, yes. it could break down so the discipline. That is why we have to be concerned about that. So we must perhaps take a look at um, keeping it as professional. It should be very good. Make, make it professional. Go for ability and quality. Not party food soldiers. Not, not party food soldiers. You know, that's very important. Will you come in? Come in. Yeah. Former Chief of Staff under the Rawlings' administration, Nanato Dazi, says government's decision to set up a commission of inquiry into the Ayawasu West Wogon by election violence is not the best way out. Government on Wednesday issued a statement announcing the establishment of a three-member commission of inquiry to be chaired by former charge boss Justice Emil Short. There have been concerns that the commission of inquiry may not provide a swift and definite action on this matter. Now, speaking on upfront with Raymond Mr. Dazi said government can establish the fact of the violence within 72 hours if it is really committed. There's a way out.
I said it's not the only vehicle. I think, for instance, that, look, what are we looking for? We are looking for who deployed the unit, the troops. Brian Achampon, honorable, says he did. No, so. Okay. We assume that if you ask the question, uh, can we identify the personnel? If he deployed them, he can answer it. He can supply okay. us the list. Third, thirdly, what were the instructions or the mission he gave them? We know that one. What weapons were issued? We don't know. What vehicles were issued? We don't know. But uh, did the police authorize it? All these things can be investigated and established within 72 hours by the PIPS. You know PIPS? It's the a police, police professional standards professional unit. unit. It's very simple. It's very simple. They go to national security and demand. But Brian, the honorable minister, you instructed the people to go, no? Say, yes, sir. Give us a list of the people who went. What weapons did they use? So, so in the military and formed uh, forces, you, there's a process of accountability. You understand? Whatever is given out, you sign for. When you come back, they check the amount of bullets you've used and whatnot. It's as simple as that. We can get that same information in 72 hours. Now, the follow-up is that if, like you said, you saw police uh, uh, vehicles being used, the police have an obligation to investigate how the vehicles got out there. The buck stops with the IGP. How did police vehicles get into that place? I had the EC. She said the police people were assigned to the, uh, what do you call it, the, the election. They were sitting, they were all unarmed, they were quietly sitting there. If some other people come in police vehicle, shouldn't we be asking the IGP questions? So long as he is the, uh, the person back with the constitution in charge of the, what do you call it, um, uh, deployment, how's the exact way they use? The operational control. Mm -hmm. How did his vehicles get there? Nana Atsodazi also called on the Inspector General of Police, Asante Apiutu, to resign. According to him, the failure of his men deployed to protect citizens is enough grounds for him to bow out. The policemen on the scene. Yes, they were. What were they doing there? They were there to keep the peace. Did you see them keep the peace there when the duty was on? Did you see them? I saw a customs officer who was running. Did you see him? Yeah. You yeah, saw him? Yeah. In some of the videos, though, did you yeah. did you did you yeah. see the big fat policeman who was standing there? It was a sad spectacle. I am trained to salute a policeman at any time, anywhere, I meet him because they maintain our peace. If a policeman loses out on his authority, moral authority, to control, to maintain law and order, the IGP who sent him there must resign. If we come to a situation where people take the, the uniform, the, the weapons, the cars of the, of the police for an exercise, I don't know, oppression, you understand, for an oppression, and it fails, the only thing to do is that, look, no, it shouldn't happen again, I resign.